We interviewed Sentinel Zekin ahead of the lock-in tournament in Brazil. He told us about his history in esports, his thoughts about the Valorant meta, and Sentinel's preparation before the LAN this February. Let's get started. So hey, hello everyone. Today I'm with uh, Sentinel Zekin. Could you introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, my name is Zekin. I play Valorant for Sentinel, so I play a lot of duelists. I'm from, I'm from NA. All right, good. So uh, when and how did you uh, get into esports? Uh, when I was maybe like eight or nine, I saw a video on YouTube about a Super Smash Brothers tournament. And that was the first time that I really ever saw esports or like people playing in a tournament in front of a crowd. And ever since then, I watched a lot of Super Smash Brothers tournaments and a lot of CSGO tournaments. And that's what really got me into esports. All right, okay. So yeah, you joined Sentinels uh, last uh, October. So how is it going so far? Uh, so far, it's going really good. Sentinels has been very welcoming, and um, they've been a very good org. And uh, playing with the new team has been a lot of fun. We played one tournament so far, the yep. Ludwig Tarek Invitational, which was a uh, it was a good time. Yeah. And uh, we've been practicing a lot, so I've I've enjoyed it. All right. Good. So, what role will will you be playing in this year? Uh, this year, I'll be playing the same role as I did with x it'll be flex, so basically whatever the team needs me to play, I can shift over and play. I'm, uh, my role is to be a flexible player and just fill whatever role the team needs. So how would you describe the playstyle of Sentinels? Uh, I would say we have a pretty controlled playstyle. We, like um, we like to slow the game down and just kind of see what our opponents are doing and then adapt. Mm -hmm. uh, but I also think we have the capability to go very fast and kind of be very aggressive. So I would say it's a mix of those two playstyles. Yeah, very good. Um, so has anything changed for you uh, as a player since you've joined Sentinels? Uh, I would say so, yeah. Just because um, bringing in Sassi and Pancada from Brazil, mm -hmm. um, the diff there's a lot of different ideas that they brought from Brazil that I haven't seen in NA before. So my perspective on how the game should be played has definitely changed a lot in the past right. few months. So yeah. I would say that uh, ever since joining, yeah, I've changed a good amount as a player. Right, and how do you feel about the staff, the the team, the guys behind you? Uh, the staff, they're, they're, they've all been really, really great. Um, <laughs> I got to meet all of them when I went to the office uh, a few months ago. And um, meeting, them was, meeting them was really nice. They were all like super good at their job and super welcoming. So I'm, I'm happy to have them behind us. Yeah, right. Um, so, how was your time with Xset? Like, what did you learn from this experience? My time with Xset was really good. Just um, the opportunity to go to a, a two international tournaments and mm -hmm. to boot camp with the team for the first time. I got to do a lot of things in esports that I never did before, so I'm very thankful for my time with Xset and I definitely learned a lot as a, as a player and I think I got a lot better with them. Yeah, okay. So, uh, what's your preparation routine one hour before an official match? Before a match? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, usually, if the team er, is with the team, there'll be a, a warm up scrim. So, yeah. you'll play another team to warm up right before the match. And then, my like personal individual warm up is you know, I'll do um, like stretches for my, my hand and my wrist. And then, I'll do a few death matches and go in the range for a little bit right before the match. Yeah, okay. How do you feel about the Varon meta we are in right now? Uh, I like the meta a lot right now. Uh, apart from the Stinger, which yeah. is going to get nerfed soon, yeah. I think the game's in a really good spot. I'm just happy because um, without Chamber being in the meta, it's a lot more. it seems a lot more fun. Mm -hmm. um, you can't just go around the corner and assume that you're going to die. Yeah. So it's definitely a lot more fun. And I think once the Stinger gets touched a little bit, the game will be like at its best. So I'm excited for that. Right. Uh, I think the patch notes like um, got released today. About the stinger, will it be like uh, affecting uh, Brazil or no? I think that it would affect Brazil because nice. at least in um, in North America, when we've been practicing, like people will buy stinger just every yeah. round <laughs> because it's it was so good that there's you know there's no reason not to. Yeah. But I think that with the changes, it'll be a bit more balanced to where you know teams won't buy it every round, but still on you know some eco rounds, it's still pretty good, but mm -hmm. it's not broken like it used to be. Yeah. So I think it'll affect Brazil but not as much as it would have if uh, they didn't nerf it. What are your first impressions of Pete Lotus? 
Um, my first impressions of Lotus is that it worked all, very similar to Haven because mm -hmm. uh, obviously both the both the maps have three sites, but the um, like the fundamentals of the maps change the same. Where a lot of the time you want to mess with the rotates because you have to go very far between A and C yeah. on the two maps. So it was pretty similar to Haven, but also the doors. It was uh, it was very interesting to work with the first like week because I didn't know what was going on with the doors. Never someone opened them. Yeah. But now that have a better idea of how they work it, it's a uh, it's a lot more fun and will you be banning it or playing it i don't think i can say that <laughs> okay okay yeah i understand no problem do you feel like your team could try to bring arbor in your team composition we've definitely tested harbor a bit um just to see you know because he was new just to see if mm -hmm. he's good or not Um, I can't say for certain if yeah. we'll use him or not, but just know that we have some we have some practice with him. So maybe, nice. maybe. Okay, yes. okay, good. How do you feel uh, like ahead of your match against uh, Fnatic in two weeks time? Uh, I'm excited. Just um, I think we've improved a lot um, mm -hmm. with our practice from like a month ago to now. So I'm excited to just kind of show you know uh, this is how much we've improved. This is what we're capable of. I think it'll be a fun match. Yeah. Okay. And like. How do you feel about the format of the competition? Uh, I don't really like the format. Yeah. I don't like that it's a single elim, but mm -hmm. I know that they have to fit a lot of teams in, so I guess it was the best decision for them. Yeah. But uh, I just wish it would it could be double elim. Yeah, it's, that's all. It's very like uh, rough. Like if you are not feeling it the day, like you may be out straight away. So yeah. it's br very brutal. And what makes Sentinel a championship contender for this year? I would say the amount of championship experience we have on the team is mm -hmm. what makes us a good contender. Just Sassi and Pankata just won champions and they've been to so many international lands already. Uh, Tens won uh, a Reykjavik yep. and he also has a ton of international experience and me and Rory are just coming off of two international appearances. Even though we didn't win, we still got a lot of valuable experience from those tournaments. So I say just um, all the experience that we have, like playing in front of the crowd or playing when the pressure is high is what makes us a good good contender. Right, so thank you so much for taking the time to answer my question and yeah, best of luck in Brazil, man. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments down below if you'd like to see more interviews like this one. You can click on the screen right now to learn how to master Fade on Lotus. We documented the best lineups for this new map. Consider subscribing and leaving a like. We'll catch you in the next one.